hi to Chaco. Let's see, what, are, what do we have here? We have a Blade Master. We have a Blade Master here against uh, a Demon Hunter. Okay, this is a very interesting first sheep already, uh, creep already by Remind. Keeps this the first thing on the map. Never seen this before. The Blade Master did he get the last kill. He did get the last kill. The Demon Hunter got a circlet. This Angel of War. Is he gonna walk to this creep ground? Oh, this grunt is going for the moon wall. Look at him. Job. 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 Okay. Slice. Dice. Archer also is shooting some arrows. Meanwhile, the blade master. What item is he going to get over here? He gets a nice illusion item. That's not the, not the best item. He wanted, of course, a beautiful sentry wards. But this is uh, second prize. Can he steal the ogre though? The level 3 ogre warrior. Stealing that would be so good. That would be insane. And he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Get the XP. Gets the ring of protection. But the ring of protection of course completely uses a shitty item. So uh, I guess he's not that happy after all. So Archer running for her life. Now she shoots some arrows at the grunty punty. The Angel of War is walking home. Okay, he's walking to this creep camp. Interestingly enough. Oh, it's eating his way through. Just a few. There's three more trees. Two more trees. And then he can start creeping this. Meanwhile, the fake Blade Master is gonna scout it. The real Blade Master is gonna go home and heal. And uh, look. Is he gonna mana burn the fake Blade Master? No. He sees that it only has two illusions. He's no, he knows there's an illusion. Okay, and he starts creeping. Even though the Blade Master knows, even though so he knows he's creeping here. Remind is like, F it, I'll just start creeping anyway. This Ogre Warrior is dead. But the other guy is dead as well. This Archer here. Oh, can he kill the, He does have dust. The Archer is definitely going to die. There goes Mr. Archer. Demon Hunter is uh, level 2 though. And he has the boots. The Age of War takes a lot of damage. The Ogre might go to the Orc here. To Serene. Serene is gonna finish up the uh, Ancient of War. And then the level 5 of course. Well, the Demon Hunter. What is he going to do? He comes back. Demon Hunter comes back with a mana burn for 33 in the face of the Blade Master. That's a lot of mana to burn. And look at those misses! How many misses? I just saw four misses in a matter of like a few seconds. And this blade demon hunter still have full health because of it. And they have a naga for uh and a detonate. What is this? Remind with the brilliant place here. Naga, Wisp, everything just to kill the blade master, but really get the blade master in the end. The illusion tried to block the demon hunter. And the naga is she no, she's just yeah, she is trying to cut him off, but she's too late. That was way too late. I'm not sure why he didn't try this earlier, but Demon Hunter is still still gets a Blade Master with the 18 mana mana burn. That's exactly how much mana you want to burn to kill a Blade Master at like 10 hill. Have a Raider and a Spirit Walker being built here. TC is going to keep. Do have Druids of the Talon? Yes, of course. Though uh, even though he killed a Blade Master, he lost. He's an archer. He lost his Angel of War. He lost a Wisp that he had to detonate. Although he traded for a Speed Skull. So that's uh, fine, I guess. But, um, yeah, this game is far from over still. Only two grunts. He's, he's creeping with two grunts. He's gonna finish this creep camp. Uh, he just got. Uh, did he not just get this one? Yeah, he killed the level 5. Probably not a good item, he sold it. Oh, or no, it's yeah, yeah, he sold it, but this time he does get a good item. Push of info 15 seconds is amazing. This is, item is so good against the Blade Master. Imagine for 15 seconds, the Blade Master can't kill you, it means you can live for 15 more seconds. I wish I always carried a potion of invulnerability with me in case I meet the Blade Master. Now, at least I can live for 15 seconds. This raider takes a little bit of damage. We have two raiders here walking around. Blade Master is back. He's level 2. TC is also level 2. Demon Hunter is almost level 3 though. This uh, this raider took some damage. Oh yeah. What I want to, to talk about earlier is that uh, he killed a Blade Master. But now he has a Naga. No Beast Master. No, no, not even a Keeper. It's even worse than Keeper. It's just a Naga. A silly little Naga. But the Naga isn't that bad. <laughs> I mean... 
Her arrow is pretty good against the Blade Master. Uh, it's called the Factory. It's attack dealing 5 bonus damage. Slowing a target enemy unit's attack by 30% and movement speed by 30%. The thing is that you usually don't shoot the Blade Master. Because the bet, uh, you already have Cyclone. So it's kind of... You don't need to actually. You just need... The summons. You just need to kill the Raiders. Anyway, the Demon Hunter is uh, ensnared. Is he going to die as the Info Potion and a Greater Healing Potion? Uh, info Potion uses the uh, Moon Juice. Oh, 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 so nice. He still has this healing thing potion. Oh, a Shockwave, level one Shockwave on few Juice of Tail and one Raider. Uh, the Grunt goes down. Blade Master takes some damage. We don't have the Orb yet, by the way. Or do we? Oh, we do have the Orb. <laughs> Probably just bought it recently. Used the info potion here on the Blade Master, but how much de more damage can he do here with this hurt Blade Master? Moonjus have all been uh, drunken though. If we don't have pillage. Interesting fact. No pillage. He's gonna lose. Oh, this Blade uh, Demon Hunter has to use his 15 second info potion. And he uses a mana burn. What a nice mana burn. Okay, since uh, they're walking around not doing anything, let me screw my chair counterclockwise, right? Counterclockwise. It's this way. A player's forces are under attack. It slowly goes down, slowly. So every day or every other day. Oh, I know why I might not had sound. Ah, I now no. Is that related? Okay, we see some creeping going on. They're both creeping the same creep camp on the different side of the map. So, uh, my headphones broke, so I've, I'm using different headphones. These headphones are kind of annoying. They kind—they keep falling out of my ear. My ears—they're not fit for headphones like this. They're fit for—they're uh, fit for these other headphones I have, like these headphones with the soft, you know, the soft little head thing these are perfect but the headphones i have right now with like this hard this hard little thing it hurts my ears and it keeps falling out of my ears but man that's that's just life of high to chaco that's the life of high to chaco guys you guys should should be happy that you are you and not high to chaco anyway the tc is done creeping here he's uh still up two so a blade master here we have a level 3 Demon Hunter with a healing health stone. And the Naga here with uh, you know, the, the normal items. TP, staff, boots, info. Let's see what item we get here. Uh, we definitely see the Orc player so we can creep a lot faster here. Of course he got the healing wards and they are perfect to, to creep some of these strong uh, creeps. But Kekar's side, a pipe of insight is amazing here. Mostly for the spirit walkers. Blade Master doesn't need that much mana. TC usually can't use that much mana because uh, he will be constantly mana burned. Shockwave, mana burn. Mana burn. And then there's, uh, there's extra mana regeneration. Re won't get him up uh, to 100 mana before he gets mana burned again. But outside of the battle, of course, it will help a little bit. And uh, inside of the battle, the spirit walkers, they love the extra mana. Mana is just so tasty. Okay, do we have a fight here? 54 Splag is 47. Nice shock wave. Uh, Tinker is there as well, by the way. TP out here by Remite. We have a better rider coming in, but there's no uh, flying uh, dragons. Fairy dragons. No fairy dragons whatsoever. There's one. We love fairy dragons. And let's see what he's buying here. He doesn't have an info potion. Doesn't have. Oh, he has the info potion on the Naga. Has the health stone on the Demon Hunter. He's killing this peon. Mr. Peon is dead. Over here we have a Blade Master. Work with a healing scroll on the info potion. We have a healing scroll on the TC. And he has, of course, the uh, Kedgar's Pipe and the healing wards. 53 again, 48 though. So, supply lead here. Oh, especially after killing the Bad Rider. Supply lead here for Loliath. And uh, Serene, I don't think he can win this fight. Blade Master is buying something though. 
Well, there's that first mana burn I was talking about. He can uh, use one shockwave now, oh, but not if he gets mana burned again. Oh, he kills one dude of the tail and can he get this, this uh, shockwave off? This is important. Where's the mana burn? Where's the shockwave? Uh, there was the shockwave. No mana burn. Okay, the Naga almost went down. The heal skull was used there for uh, for the lion, of course. These raiders and the dudes of the uh, these other guys killing dudes of the tail. And where's the tinker? Where was the pocket factory? Pocket factory was killed super fast. Must have been at uh, the worst position I've ever seen. What a horrible pocket factory! Uh, I, I didn't even notice it. That I, that one's so important. I guess the shockwave hit it. it was placed probably somewhere over there. The dudes of the tail are dying one by one. 48 supply against uh, 41. Uh, smart retreat here by Sabine because you know his units are kind of hurt. He doesn't have his healing scroll anymore. He does have a healing ward. He could place a healing ward maybe here on the top and just try to fight here, or he can uh, give a mana potion to the TC and just use it. And oh, the healing ward got killed there. I'm not sure why he placed it there, but uh, I mean he needs every healing that he uh, can get. Oh, these raiders. Oh, only chain lightning on one raider. Beautiful movement by the raider, just to take all the chain lightning to make sure his allies don't get chain lightning. Uh, this raider is running for his life. TC is level four now. Just one more level on the TC, and so he has a good chance to win this game. But until uh, that point, the light is still in this game. Okay, there is a nice shock. Uh, not the shock wave. Mana burn on the spirit skull. This raider under attack. A lot of these units are healing. He needs to buy time to heal up his units. Maybe buy a healing scroll. There's two available. There are two available. And he buys one in the info potion. Okay. Uses one. Use the info potion. He's gonna kill some druids of the Talon maybe. Uh, but since he only bought one. That means there's one more available for of course for uh, the life to buy. If he really wants it. This pocket factory of course is, is focused. This cow is running for his life. He's he's gonna survive. No problem. Another shockwave. How did he get another shockwave? How did he get another shockwave? That must have been a mistake here by Remind. Letting that uh, hero TC get another shockwave. The Blade Master is not going to die just yet. He can fight his way out. Two druids of the tail and aren't that hard to kill if you have a backup at least. There's a nice uh, mana burn on that cow. 42 against 39. But that means, uh, and look at the hero, the units here for Remind. Everything is at full health. He should be able to win this. Can just pick his shit up. It's uh, so hard for Swing to heal. He does not moon, moon wells. He needs to go uh, buy heal skulls if he wants to heal. He buys Info Potion. If he loses his TC, it's over. Goes for the Naga. He does have a Raider. Use the Info Potion, but the Health Stone was give, given to the Naga. TC is still alive, though. He should have probably... Okay. Done exactly what he did. Uh, one Spirit Cow does go down. The TC is healing back here in the background. Another Spirit Cow goes down. The Blade Master has mana for Mana Walk. And this will give him some time. Blade Master was just a distraction. So these other units can heal back up. Except that he does not have enough healing salves, but... Sure. Naga's back, she's almost level 3. I wonder what skills she's gonna pick at level 2. If it's gonna be Fort Lightning or Frost Arrow. These annoying fairy dragons. And he's going for the Naga again. Naga is level 3. And she shoots her Frost Arrow, just level 1. She hasn't picked a skill yet. Okay, Naga is under attack, she has a healing potion. She should be safe. There's an info potion used on the Blade Master, but the Naga is never going to die. And do we see a GG here really soon? I assume we also have a GG here anytime, any moment now. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, as long as his heroes are alive, I guess he shouldn't be leaving the game, but the chances that Sawin wins this are very, very slim. Very, 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 very slim. And he's just gonna light it. Not light. Remind it. Remind. <laughs> remind is just going for the base. He's gonna kill the shop. He's gonna kill the burrows. See a base right here for Sui. Sui does not have pillage. He's going for the moon wall. 
Is he gonna retreat? Are under There's a TP. There's a TP. And he's going to TP on me. He lost one moon well. But he killed the she nothing. Okay, he killed the nothing. But he this TC gets like no, not okay. His mana burned and siege. killed. He has to defend his TC somehow, but how? Okay, give him a TP. That makes sense. Oh, he needs a TP worth the TC. He tried to kill one more druid of the Talon, but he survived with six hit points. What are these the guys doing? Don't stand still, Mr. Raider. Mr. Raider, no, Mr. Raider. Don't so win. So win if you want to make a comeback. Don't lose Mr. Raider needlessly. Okay, I moves Mr. Raider back. And uh, use the Dispel. But this Demon Hunter... This Demon Hunter looks so scary, man. That's why he's running. And the TC with two more Raiders. They're going for the base race again. Does he have Pillage? Still does not have Pillage. Why no Pillage? Okay, here come the Raiders. Going for the Moonwell. Meanwhile, the town is under siege. Well, we have a TP home. The moonwall stays up. The shop and the burrow went down. Cyclone on the TC. And is it gonna give him another TP? Uh, doesn't look like it. I think we'll see GG then. Is he still gonna try to win this base race bullshit? Because I don't think he can. Without this TC, he can maybe rebuy the TC at the altar. Yeah. Are under attack. But that's gonna take a while. He's just going to lose units. These are going to die. Oh, what are the Druids of Ten doing? Are they really hunting the raiders? I could have made sure that he killed this one. Actually, Mana Burn might still kill it. Actually, he's creeping. Never mind. Could have just Mana Burned it. Instead of creeping. Oh. Uh, these guys will get the kill anyway, and some of the raiders, he does get some of the raiders. Never mind, guys. Remind does exactly what he needs to do. I shouldn't have doubted him. There's a dust. Does he dust the Blade Master? No. So we have two raiders left and one Blade Master. Gets his super armor here of Remind. Remind's creeping while he's surrounding. He gets a uh, ring of protection there. Levels up his, his Tinker, I think. Yeah, Tinker's level 3. Two Raiders and a Blade Master hardly even does anything. Stops on the Naga, does she have? Yeah, level 2 forward landing, level 1 cold arrow, so she's uh, killing Raiders. There's the GG, finally! 1 0 here for Remind. Remind for Serene. Ready to work. Ready to work. Work, work. complete. Work complete. Altar complete. Blade Master being summoned. Demon Hunter being summoned. Blade Master versus Demon Hunter. Standard Ancient of War position. Okay, no shenanigans this game, by the remind. Last game, he did this weird Angel of War creeping. This game, normal position here. He's going to creep these little turty, turtle baby guys. And he's going to kill them. A player's forces are under attack. I didn't see who play in the last two months. Don't think he's active. Uh, I've seen him play again in like the last week or so. He did try to qualify for this uh, GCS. Or did he? Or no, maybe he didn't show up. I remember seeing him in the bracket. No, no, he definitely played, right? I think I saw his games, but I didn't see his games. Well, uh, I mean, I saw his games live in the list, but we didn't actually watch any of his games. But yeah, he's not playing that much anymore. Maybe he doesn't feel... Uh, A player's force I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, cast this game because, you know, Blade Bash is almost out already. Actually, he's out already. He's creeping already. Oh, Blade Bash is over here already. This game is already further along than I thought it was. Akinos bought the circlet and the dust and killed 40 XP worth of units. There's an archer, of course. He killed the archer. The demon of the got the slippers. That's an amazing item. But he uh, the moonwalk. The moonwalk got cancelled. 
Oh no, the wisps. Run, little wisps. Don't don't die like the archer did. Play the archer tries to get a move on, but he can't. He, oh, he can. Okay, he can get a move on. Never mind. The move on gets cancelled. And the uh, Blade Master does uh, wind walks out of there. Is there a list of already qualified players? I think so. I don't uh, know where exactly. Maybe uh, maybe it's there somewhere. In that uh, in that link there in the grid link uh, that uh, Bambi of Fire just posted, or. There was a nice mana burn on the Blade Master. He's out of mana again, but he did get a close of attack. So that means he does a lot of damage. Team Hunter uh, trying to go for the Grunt. Cuts him off. Slice him apart. Grunt gets away. The Blade Master is going to buy some healing. Going to heal himself. What's the Demon Hunter going to do? Pies boots and dust. We can hunt down maybe a blade master, maybe a grunt. But the blade master and grunt, they know that Mr. Demon Hunter with the boots are coming. Here's the Demon Hunter. Slice! Stop! Cut. So this grunt took a lot of damage. 363. Meanwhile, the blade master is creeping over here. He wants oh, he also wants slippers of agility. He he saw that the demon hunter got slippers of agility. He's like, I want it too. I'm jealous, I want slippers as well. But he gets a gauntlet. So now he's so sad, he's like, no. No, it's no fair. Meanwhile, the demon hunter, he got a class of attack. And Mr. Grunty comes here, but Mr. Grunty should be careful that he doesn't just die to the Mr. Demon Hunter blood trap. But we have uh, the other Grunt back up. Oh, can I? No, Playmaster was just a millisecond too late there. Aki knows it, by the way. So the demon hunter got XP there, he's level two. He is super duper strong. Blade Master now. Maybe he can get slippers over here. He wants slippers so bad. No more gauntlets. No more gauntlets. There's the slippers. He is so lucky. He is so happy. He is so glad that he got the slippers finally. Now he doesn't feel left behind anymore compared to the Demon Hunter. They both have a slippers and a claws of attack. Demon Hunter has boots. While the Blade Master has a circlet and a gauntlet. Players' forces are under attack. We have Biggie here. Can he, did he cancel? He canceled now. Cancels the healing salves. Uh, the tier two is up though already. For Serene. There he summons a little piggy. I'm a piggy. Bah. Two piggies. And standard ancient of wins here for remind. Is he got? This is already crept. Or is he going for the level 6? He might be going for the level 6. He has one piggy. He will summon another piggy. Well, this piggy is harassing. All these piggies all over the place. Well, there's the piggy. I think he's just going for the level 6. Don't even bother with the other guys over here. Get the item. And then GTFO. This will give him a lot of XP points. 120 actually only. <laughs> it's not even that much. But boots of Quanta, last. That's insane. That's such a good item. This Demon Hunter is so happy with this Boots of Quatalas. Now this Blade Master is going to be jealous again. At least once he sees the Boots of Quatalas. Boots of uh, Speed on his left foot. Boots of Quatalas on his right foot. I cannot sub from mobile app, Chaco. Oh. Don't think I can help you. Uh... There, it's not like there's some setting that I turned on that's like don't allow subs from mobile mobile app users. Anyway, the Murlocs go down. So yeah, um, maybe you can sub once you get on the PC. This turtle, this turtle goes down. Another boost of speed. Maybe for the Beastmaster, this one. Level two Demon Hunter, level two Beastmaster. Some is a hog. Oh! Taco flavored keys! You did manage to sub. Is it for mobile after all? Uh, okay, this moonwall does go down. 
Oh, uh, let me thank you better later. Uh, first of all, this fight. First, this fight at Komete. It is a nice shockwave. Hits uh, two Wisp and two Dudes of the Talon. Demon Hunter drinks some Moon Juice. Blade Master against Demon. But the Demon Hunter items, man, are insane. How does he have even have three boots when he only has two legs? That's uh, that's why these don't stack. Because, of course, you cannot breathe on top of each other. The Demon uh, Blade Master, very long hit points. He still has the Info Potion. And uh, another Moonwall does go down. So he keeps doing this, where he just attacks and kills like a Moonwall or two. And then just gets out of there. There's an Ensnare on the Demon Hunter. Yes, so crypt, Crypto... Crypto High, is that how I pronounce it? Is it like a misspelling with the H, a G and the H at the end of the word? Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate the support, of course. And I'll give you some taco flavored kisses here. Uh, how do I spell it? Crip, crypto High. There, you got some taco flavored kisses. I hope you like them. I hope they taste amazing. And I hope you're not allergic for them. There is uh, there's some more piggies. This archer takes a bit of damage. Uh, Skull of the Beast. He finally gave the boost, by the way, to the Beastmaster. The boost of speed. A town is under and with the Skull of the Beast, he can do so much damage. The Blade Master will do insane damage. The Druids of the Talon do some damage. I guess the one grunt, at least. I guess the two grunts. They will kill the two grunts super duper fast. But the four raiders over here as well. It's uh, 55 supply against 37. Killing those two moonwalls was so worth it. Of a bargain. Keep up good work. Thanks. Thanks, Crypto. Crypto. Okay. Is he going for the level 7 turtle? He wanted to. There was a snare on the Demon Hunter, but the Demon Hunter does have a lot of armor and a healing potion. He's taking some damage. And he TPs out on the Beastmaster, realizes the uh, Demon Hunter will be fine with the healing potion. And there's the TP out. 58 against 37 still. One Spirit of the Walker did go down though, but for a TP, trading for a TP. Even though this Demon Hunter is so super duper strong. So Win has been winning the fights. Out of moon juice, still does not have the tinker. Is this uh, is this a win strategy here? Just prevent prevent remind from getting a tinker. Is there any way to counter the dreadlord guys uh, with the water race? Maybe uh, mass towers. Mass towers always can uh, counter dreadlords. There was an ensnare on this uh, beastmaster. We have the the wish coming in. Detonate. And Remind still has no no tinker. He's going. He kills his peon. This peon takes a lot of damage. The peon goes down. Now he's going to the center. He's going to buy, of course, of course, the tinker. Finally. Meanwhile, so he's going for the red creep camp over here. Let's see if he gets a good item. He needs level three heroes as well. He's still so far from level three. But the demon hunter is level three. Now that the uh, Rima is back to 50 supply, I don't think it lo it's looking that good anymore for uh, for Shireen. Oh, but he gets a Khadgar's Pipe again, just like last game, but last game he lost with it. So this game he might lose with it again. The Blade Master, of course it's Shireen, he takes level 2 critical wind walk instead of level 2 critical strike. I don't like this, I never like this. don't like this game, even with the Khadgar's Pipe, I don't like it. We have a level 3 Beastmaster, are you kidding me? Beastmaster level 3, okay TC as well, but... This is definitely a hero advantage here for Night Elf, for Remind. Level 3 Demon Hunter, level 3 uh, Beastmaster are stronger than level 3, then level three uh, Blade Master, level 3 TC. But he does find the Beastmaster by himself. He has a TP. We will have to TP. But is everything going to TP with him? This Druid of Talon probably not, maybe. I don't know. Yes, he's, he's uh, left behind. Where's Ensnare? Where's Ensnare? The... Oh, doesn't need Ensnare. These uh, spirit walkers killed that birdie from out of the air. He also uh, de got detonated on by the wisp. Pet rider. 45 supply against 65. A player's forces are under attack. 
Let's go for these turtles. TC gets some wand of mana stealing. Not the item he wanted, but uh, it's the item he got. He might be able to get a third shockwave because of it, though. That's uh, that would be actually pretty good. If he gets shockwave, gets oh, he mana burns the spirit walker, meaning that the first mana burn won't be on the TC, meaning that he can shockwave, get mana burn once, use his item. And then shockwave again. So in this case, I guess it is pretty good. Uh, it kills the shop here. Don't like the position of the shop too much. Shop is easy kill. The raiders, uh, they don't really get any contact with the Druid of Talon. Finally, but... Uh, oh, there was a shockwave on the heroes. And a TP out again by the Beastmaster. We see a few Druids of Talon dying. A few raiders as well. This raider survives right here in the back with like... Uh, 13 hit points, 12 hit points. Of course... Remind was under 50 supply all the time, so he is not in the upkeep. He gets more gold than Serene. Sleep though can really fuck you up. Uh, if the Dreadlord sleeps your hero, if you wait a second or two and then attack your own Dreadlord, you can wake him up. Or you could use this spell to wake up your hero as well. Yeah, now he's going for this turtle. He gets... Uh, what did he get? What did he get? He gets... Uh, what did he get? Info potion. 15 second info potion. Pretty good since... Uh, since Sawin keeps focusing his heroes. A player's forces are under attack. He, he did sell the one of mana stealing. Sixty-three spying and forty-nine. Oh, can he get these roots of them? Can he flank attack? Flank attack here, but I'm not sure for who it's good. This is uh, well, actually, apparently it's good for uh, Serene because Rima just TP's out. I guess it makes sense that the flank attack is good for Orc because he needs to get his raiders in contact with the Druids of the Talon. Stop being blocked by the heroes. However, because of the flank attack, he didn't have a good shockwave available. Um, there's no... Oh, there is a fairy dragon. He found a fairy dragon. I didn't see this fairy dragon. I was about to say there's no fairy dragon. There was a fairy dragon, but only one. This bed rider, this other bed rider, is not that useful. He's trying to kill Juice of the Talon, but he uh, dies pretty fast himself. There's a shop. Box factory, I mean, uh, decent position. This doesn't look good for the light. Maybe the uh, not the light remind me. Maybe the demon hunter can win by himself though. He does a lot of damage, plus 20 damage. He he is not going to win though. It's 20 supply advantage here for so win. It's just so insane. 20 supply is a lot of supply. Even the demon hunter can make up for the difference. In fact, uh, he's also level behind the uh, Blade Master. There goes the Spirit Walker. There's a Critical Strike miss, as you guys saw that miss. And the uh, Critical Strike, of course. The two of ten in the back are pretty safe. Or how safe can you be when there's a huge army on the front of your door? Anyway, this uh, Pocket Factory goes down. Now one Raider can attack these two of ten, but is he retreating? No. He's going for the Tinker. Use the Info Potion. No. Wait, what? What? Okay, goes for the TC. No, it's just just the Blade Master can kill the Tinker. And now uh, tries to get the Demon Hunter. Oh, was about to critical strike that Druid of the Talon, but he got TP'd out. This Druid of the Talon is so lucky, man. So lucky with that TP timing. He, he can tell his family how lucky he got, how he almost died, how he almost died to a Blade Master, but he, he grabbed the staff and blocked the critical strike. And everyone will believe him. Everyone will think he was a hero. But really, he, he just got saved by the Demon Hunters TPing in time. Some of these units get some healing salves. DC is uh, regenerating mana. Blade Master is walking around, of course. A player's forces are under Amazing. Attack. I 
and the TC and the Big Mash are creeping here. And what item did he get over here? Belt of Giant Strength. Is going to keep it on the Demon Hunter or give it to the Beastmaster? They're kind of both targeted a lot. It's of course better on the Demon Hunter if he's the first uh, first hero that's targeted. But it's better on the Beastmaster when the Beastmaster is the first hero that's targeted. So it does give you extra damage on the Beastmaster. I like that extra damage a lot. Okay, what item do we get over here? Let's see. It's... Uh Helm of Failure, okay, bad luck item for Serene. It's not that bad though, it's it's all right. It's not that good either. They're just worse items. But uh, it's just an unlucky item. Helm of Failure, it says in the name that he's going to fill, but he gets level five TC, level five Blademaster. Definitely big advantage right now for Serene. And this peon is going to die. Piggy is scouting. It's Piggy is scouting. It's going to get ensnared. We have six, six raiders. And there goes Piggy. There's no more XP to be gained here for uh, Serene, so that's nice. There's a mana burn on the Blade Master. And the uh, Demon Hunter is ensnared. Oh, look at that shockwave. It killed uh, one Druid of the Talon. It hit eight Druids of the Talon and a Piggy. Uh, but the heal scroll heals it back up. This Pocket Factory is in pretty decent position here. Do we see another shockwave? There is another shockwave. Hit like three Druids of the Talon only, killing one of them. That shockwave could have been better, but he has one more shockwave. And the uh, Blade Master killed the Tinker there, apparently. I see two crits there in the in the air floating. I tried to highlight them, but uh, it's hard to make a box. Because you cannot make a box if you start, you know, I, I when I make a box, I click, I drag. That's how you make a box, guys. But if you click on a unit, right, if there's a unit be below your click, you cannot click and drag and make a box. So I was trying to make a box all around the highlight numbers, but I kept clicking on units accidentally and I couldn't make a box. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys are disappointed in me in not being able to make the box there and highlight those critical strikes. I'll try better next time. Anyway, we had the TP out there. Lolite, the 42. Actually, Lolite did really well there that fight. I just now realized this. Let's look at these bodies. Four Druids of the Talon. Two dead Raiders. Wait, what? Okay. Well, he did better than expected at the very least. As it is uh, 48 supply against 42. And, uh, but there's a TC level 5 still, with the Catgar's Pipe, so he has a lot of mana. So even though it's 48 against 42, which normally is Night Elf favorite, guys. Normally this is Night Elf favorite supplies. And even though Night Elf gets a free expansion, Orc has to pay for his, I still want to say uh, it's advantage right now for Zoween because of the level 5 TC. The level 5 Blade Master is relevant, but not really. Not really against level four, uh, level four demon or level four beastmaster, level two tinker, who was almost level three. Like, if that TC was level four, for example, and the blade master was level five, I would say the hero levels were still an advantage here for the night elf. But the level five TC, that's a hero that makes a difference. The level three shockwave makes a difference. Level three critical strike can make a difference. It's just not as reliable there as the shockwave. He did give the belt of giant strength to the beastmaster, gave a healing potion to the demon hunter. I like this. Extra damage on the beastmaster is, is relevant. Beastmaster does a lot of damage. Uh, really, only your heroes do damage. So you rely on your demon hunter, you rely on your beastmaster attack, your tinker attack. Piggy's attack, Birdie attack, and uh, Tinker Goblin, guys. The Druids of the Talon are just kind of trying to survive. They don't really do much damage unless there are grunts, but there are no more grunts. Unless they can attack these guys. If your Druids of the Talon can attack the Spirit Walkers, they do some damage. 
but usually they cannot reach the, the spirit walkers without having to run through the raiders and that's you know that's not what you want to do so instead you just keep them alive and keep them alive for the cyclones and the fairy fires and kill the orc with your other units your heroes your piggies your summons your your goblin tinkers so that's why the extra damage on the beastmaster is nice but he did sell it he did sell it for a healing scroll where's that uh tree of eternity okay it's on his way we have uh, some ancient winds here ancient of war not sure if so we want to fight against these ancients so he could maybe uh build a shop somewhere oh yeah. wait he has items look at these items he got a pendant of energy wow just grabbed something got a pendant of energy that's insane that's the best item he could have gotten Suddenly this game is even more so in favor than it already was. Now only one healing school guys, only one. And here's the shockwave, hits like five druids of the Talon. Yeah, exactly five and a, and a tinker. Five druids of the Talon and a tinker. So next shockwave, hits only the Ancient of the Wind. So that was kind of a wasted shockwave, but... You know, he has plenty of mana, he has the clarity potions, he has Catacar's Pipe. He has a pen of energy, he has a potion of mana. Every shockwave that hits something is gonna be insanely good. Of course, all these ancients just walking across. This one maybe wants to eat a tree because it's uh, damaged already for 200 uh, hit points. Alright, it eats a tree. TC is back to almost full mana, guys. It's insane. The clarity potion plus the uh, cat car's pipe. There is a cyclone, but there is a shockwave hits only the shop and. Two heroes, I think. The Tinker and the Demon Hunter. Here come the Wisp as well, blocking as well. Oh, the Wisp, two Wisps go down and the Tinker gets hit again. This Tinker keeps getting hit by the Shockwave and he's going down, as you can see. He's already in the orange, just from Shockwaves. Shockwave still does a lot of damage to heroes, about the same as level to Coil, which is 140 damage on heroes. Demon Hunter in danger. The shockwave hits... What did it hit? Did it kill Wisp or something? I'm not sure if it hit anything. Uh, TC is... Maybe he's using his shockwaves a bit too uh, loosely and not hitting any juice of them. There was a healing scroll though. Demon of the there was a staff. No staff, Demon of the is dead. That means that... Uh, what does that mean? Well, first of all, let's look at these ancients killing peons. Second of all, did I miss this uh, Tree of Eternity dying? I'm sure I did and I'm sure you guys are angry at me for missing that. I'm sure you guys saw it on the minimap. But uh, a few dudes of the talent got, died to the shockwave. Or was the was the ancient the tree of eternity walking to the bottom? Did it die or did it uh, was it still walking, guys? Maybe you guys paid more attention than I did. Op op. Hey Chaco, glad to see you here casting soon for three months. Hey corrupt, corrupt. Oh wait, <laughs> uh, glad to see you back here watching. Remind for Uh This demon under this um this uh war how do you call it? The flag thing. Rally point. I don't know where it was set, but the Demon Hunter was supposed to come out on this side, so he didn't have to cancel the moon well. And his Demon Hunter would be free to do whatever he wanted to, but uh, because he got spawned in the inside of his base, he had to cancel this moon well and rebuild it. Okay, well, Demon Hunter buys some uh, circlet, buys a circlet and some dust. Uh, the Blade Master, by the way, I missed this, of course, but he uh, crept this golem over here. He got uh, 120 XP and the uh, Lionhorn of Stormwind, which is, of course, a pretty shitty item. Imagine if he got Boots of Quad at last. This game would have been already over. It was... Um, Rope of the Magi would have been pretty good, or the... Uh, the Scourge Bone Chimes would have been pretty good as well. But this item... I mean, he does keep it. He doesn't even sell it. I mean, I wouldn't be against selling this item. I won't be against keeping it either. It's like two different uh, playstyles. Keeping it is better later, late game. But if you sell it, you get 200 gold right now. You can buy another circlet or something else maybe. And, uh, or maybe, maybe even Boots of Speed. I mean, boots of, if there's a map, you buy Boots of Speed on Blade Master. It's definitely this map. It's a huge map. So, uh, you know what? If you sell it, you can get some immediate value out of that uh, the 200 gold with that item and use that somehow to gain an advantage and win the game earlier. Anyway, we have a hunters, so that means we have a hunt. Okay, this is what we saw earlier, of course. I didn't talk about it. 
because I was talking about how the demon hunter spotted inside his base, but of course we have the hunter's hole, we have some huntresses. We have an APAP. APAP, we have a war mill, defensive war mill. Interesting. He uh he just scouted the huntresses and he already built his defensive war mill. This is maybe the new strategy. Maybe you cannot beat the APAPs if you don't build that war mill. Maybe you always need to build the war mill. Once you see the Huntresses, Blade Master creeping over here, he's gonna kill some uh, some trolls. Now he's going for the Ogre Magi. And get a nice item meanwhile. Is APAP still unscouted? Okay, the Grunty Punty scouts it right now. Of course, you always need to scout this on Twisted Meadows or any other map when you're playing against Huntresses. Always scout for the APAPs. Uh, oftentimes we have one over here. This time we had one over here. And it's gonna be, uh, it's, going, it's going up, it's up. Blade Master, meantime, another shitty item, parry up. Not really the item he was hoping for. Especially in this matchup, just extra hit points on your Blade Master, completely useless. You're gonna sell it. This is such a bad item. This you're gonna sell for sure. This one, maybe not, but the parry up, yeah, that's a sell for sure. What's he going here? What's he going to do here? He has the worm all up. And um, that's, that's fine, guys. We have another grunty. We have four grunts, four grunts against this uh, this IPIP rush. Oh, I should probably put back on uh, this point of view. Do you have anything else? He's going to tree of eternity. He doesn't even build the ancient of lores. What is he going for? Is he going for Druids of the Talon? Or is he going for... Uh, I don't like bears. I've said it so many times. Remind is one of these players that might go bears. Oh, I hate bears so much, man. Please don't go bears, Remind. You're going to lose if you go bears. There's the bestiary. There is the uh, spirit lodge. Okay, Angel of Winds. Good. Whew. I was uh, nervous there for a second. But now that I see the Angel of Winds... We have uh, still a close game on our hands. Oh, we have a Shadow Hunter second though. Oh, Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter, so useless of a hero. Uh, we do sometimes see the the Serpent Wars, and this this is one of the few situations where you actually see Serpent Wars being used. Shadow Hunter second against the Huntresses, and then the Druids of the Talon. The Serpent Wars are sometimes uh, chosen over the Healing Wave. I'm not sure what Serpent is going to pick. But if it was uh, Fly or Lin, I feel like uh, Serpent Wards w would be possible, would be an uh, option, a viable option. But he, he hasn't even scouted any Druids of the Talon yet, so he will probably just pick Healing Wave out of habit. What do you even think about it? We have more Raiders, we have more Spirit Walkers, we have another Burrow. Swellerajas. One of the reasons uh, for the Serpent Wars is that's only 30 mana each, so uh, even if you're playing against Mana Burn, you can probably place the Serpent Ward at 30 mana, and then uh, you can't get Mana Burned. Then you wait again until you have 30 mana, place another Serpent Ward. If the Demon Lord wants to Mana Burn you, he will have to Mana Burn you for like 29 or... <laughs> yeah, 29 mana. And that's just... Uh, not really worth... Well, it's worth the Mana Burn, I guess. If there's nothing else to mana burn, but usually you just want to mana burn the spirit walker to over 29 mana burn on the shadow hunter. He did kill this angel of war while I was talking about that uh, stuff. A player's forces are under attack. There's the master, Druids of the Talon. He's not doing anything, he's afraid. He's afraid. Remind is afraid. Meanwhile, we have one raider out now with the snare. Second one. And spirit walker. Shadow Hunters level 2, this uh, first soul berserker does go down. Blade Master is level 3, he has level 2 Windwalk. Normally I absolutely hate this, but on this map, it's, it's a big map. It's fine, I don't hate this, I don't, I still don't like it. But you know what, I do say, you know, maybe it's a better play on this map. I'll be the adult in this situation, you know, I'll be the adult, I say. Love to Windwalk, I'll accept it. 
I won't be angry. I'm not 100% sure if it's the best play. But I'll accept it. Because you can get level 4 on this map. Very easily. You can also uh, level 2 Windwalk and harass. However, we have a birdie already. How much is there really to harass? Sobe Mask and the Greater po Mana Potion, by the way, on the Shadowhunter is really good. Sobe Mask is uh, a bit better on the Shadowhunter than on the TC. It has Healing Wave. Didn't pick Serpent Ward. Rope of the Magi, more mana for the Shadowhunter. But the Rope of the Magi is so much better than the Sobe Mask because of Mana Burn. The way how Mana Burn works. Oh, Tome of XP, that's nice. Level 3 Shadowhunter. Is he just gonna creep the entire map? Guess these that's what these players are doing. Just keep the entire map. Gonna walk around a little bit. His peon is going down. Are under oh, is he going for the attack? He's going for the attack. Has he seen? Good question. Has Soin seen the drills of the Talon yet? I'm not sure if he's seen anything. Has he scouted anything? I'm not sure if he even scouted. Maybe he didn't even know if it was going to be Dries or Bears. I feel like he didn't scout much. Anyway, if he did not scout, he will see the Juice of the Talon right now. Blade Master is almost level 4. He does have the Orb of Darkness. Usually a useless item. But against Juice of the Talon, it's a pretty good item. But actually, your Blade Master is just going to be Cycloned. But if he can get some attacks in, maybe he should not even go for the heroes. Maybe this is one of the situations where you just kill Juice of the Talon and get more skeletons. Oh, nice mana burn there. Shadowhunter already down to 200 uh, mana. Still has that uh, greater mana potion though. There's a nice healing wave. There's a uh, ensnare on the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter has a healing potion. By the way, there's a TP on the Beastmaster and a staff as well. So the Demon Hunter. Oh no! Demon Hunter goes down! He even hexed him. He even hexed the uh, uh, Demon Hunter. And, uh, but it is 54 supply against 41. Okay. There's a TP out. So usually I say. Uh, you know, Shadow Hunter against Druids of the Tail, and you don't stand a chance, but I guess that's not true. Shadow Hunter is still pretty good. I mean, with these items, though, he had plenty of mana. He didn't even need to use his greater mana potion. And maybe Lolaich, uh, not Lolaich, uh, Remind should play a little bit, a little bit uh, more passive. Since there's no level, no TC, you know, when you play against the TC, there's always a time clock on your head as Night Elf when you play Druids of the Talon. Because if that TC gets level 5, you lose the game. Against the Shadow Hunter, different story. In fact, the higher the level the heroes are, the better it is for you as Night Elf. So you want 5 5 5 heroes against these 5 5 heroes. So just creep as much as you can. Even like, even 4 4 4 heroes is better than uh, 5 5 heroes for Orc. So, this attack, I mean, the Demon Hunter loss was, of course, pretty big deal. Uh, if he had the TP on the Demon Hunter, maybe he could have prevented that. Maybe he could have given the TP to the Demon Hunter. This is a nice item, by the way, on the Beastmaster. In this matchup, hit points on your heroes are so is so important. These hunters just are kind of useless at this point. Maybe, uh, let's see, we have two Berserkers. Yeah, just kill them yourself. Just let them die to creeps. And build six more Druids of the Talon, or maybe four more Druids of the Talon and two little birdies, uh, dragons. Oh, he has three more hunters? No, oh, no, no, no. He just stopped one home. Okay, never mind. Yeah, uh, build two more. No, what did I say? Kill your two hunters, build one more Druid of the Talon and two fairy dragons. Because there's six supply, of course. Two hunters are six supply. Druid of the Talon is. Oh, he has a fairy dragon. Never mind. Just build three more Druids of the Talon then. You only need to like one fairy dragon, maybe two actually, because these berserkers take out the fairy dragons pretty fast, even if they have 12 armor. Blade master got a rune brazier, shitty item. This peon goes down. This expansion, by the way, I uh, haven't talked about it yet, but we have expansion going up for Serene.
Okay, well, we have a bit of a standoff over here. Well, light is still under 50 supply. He can wait a little bit longer. The longer he waits, the better. Um, because he's under 50 supply, he has a higher income. But once his expansion is up, that's going to change. So Win is going to be the one with higher income. Lyot, he finally went over 50. It's perfect timing, of course. He buys a Berserker as well. We have two Grunts still, though. Grunts are also going to be a bit useless. I mean, not completely useless, but... They're kind of like walking XP tomes. They're not like that useless that you want to kill them yourself. Like I was suggesting earlier with the Huntresses. But uh, actually, especially if he has three, you don't, you probably you keep them alive. And since so we went over 50, right? If so, was somehow for some reason staying under 50, maybe I would have suggested killing his own grunts. But because he's over 50, there's no reason to kill your own grunts. Better just build an extra burrow, go up to 80 as soon as you can. But uh, also the same here for Lolai, uh, for a remind right now. Since he went over 50, I'm no longer suggesting to kill your own huntresses. There's no reason to. We have three fairy dragons and we have a fight here. Beautiful position on this pocket factory. I love this position. This is such a good position and this is going to win Lolai this fight maybe. Uh, we have these grunts here finding huntresses. They, the grunts in the background, he should try to lure the grunts. Okay, this grunt can easily piece be killed by the dudes of the Talon. We have some more cyclones on the heroes of course. Even the Kodo is being cycloned but the aura is still effective. We have a Kodo by the way. This really rare to see in this matchup uh, but we saw this early war mill of course so that's why you can build the Kodo uh, these grunts they're still alive why is he not focusing the grunts why are these units afk finally he's gonna kill the grunts and tp out uh, these grunts suddenly all dead but he killed those grunts way too late i'm not sure what he was killing raiders apparently we see two dead raiders over there but overall uh there went well for who i feel like it went well for remind but the thing is didn't go well enough because his expansion is up now so if I look at the bodies, we see two dead raiders, we see three dead grunts, we see only one dead druid of the Talon. So remind, these are 50 supply, he must have lost more. Did Kodo, uh, what else did he lose? Oh, the fairy dragons, of course. How many does he have? He lost every fairy dragon. So three fairy dragons and a druid of the Talon, which is about eight supply for like 15 supply. So 8 supply plus TP for 15 supply. I'm not sure uh, about the healing scrolls. Who used more? Who had more? The potion of greater mana was used as well, apparently. Anyway, 55 supply against 64. Chakos, you sound like you had a rough night. Uh, okay, I, I don't know. I, I sound different than normal. Anyway, we have another fight here. This pocket factory is uh, not the best position, but it's fine. Apparently good enough because no one is focusing it. Tinker here uh, takes some damage from the Raiders, but the Raiders should be killing the Druze of Talon. There they go for it. One goes down, two go down. Tinker here is, is pretty low. Blade Master used the info potion. He has level 5, by the way. He has level 3 critical strike. So uh, Cyclones on the Blade Master are going to be essential. Like right now, for example. There it is. Be oh, he finally goes for the factory, but a bit late. The factory is almost uh, expiring even. Uh, where's the Demon Hunter? Demon Hunter was a little animal. Hex, okay. If you have so much mana, you can even hex the, the Demon Hunter. The Kodo ate the Huntress. Uh, no, the Kodo could die here to the Piggy really fast if he uh, doesn't pay attention. Oh, but the TP out by the Beastmaster. And the, look at those skeletons. These skeletons are not bad. Even though they have uh, heavy armor, even though they take extra damage from the uh, these guys, Druids of the Talon. I mean, it does give something for the Druids of the Talon to do, kill the skeletons. But uh, since he gets so many from them, they're not bad. They're free. It's just free extra hit points. It looks really good now for Serene with his expansion, of course. 63 supply gets 38. The light one is your main... Okay, he will get a free expansion soon, though. I mean, a free expansion over the orc. We have one piggy. He's going poof pretty soon. We have a skeleton. He's going poof because he's going to die. And skeletons poof, right? Now they die. They, they actually, no, they fall apart. They fall apart if they die. 
They don't even go poof. Even if they expire, they fall apart. Do not like piggies. Do not like birdies. Do not like bears. They like skeletons. They have their own unique way to expire and to die. Look at this here in a second. Look at the skeleton just falling apart here in a second. We have a few more milliseconds. Don't fall apart behind the trees, please. There it is. You see that? You see his sword over there, his head over there, and okay, he just goes back into the ground. Shadowhunter is level 5, Blade Master is level 5, Team Hunter level 3, Beast Master level 3, Tinker level 2. The hero levels are definitely now in favor of Serene. The supply is in favor of Serene, 70 against 47. Why you always say Lolite instead of Remind? <laughs> to me, these Night Elf players are so similar. Remind and Lolite in, uh, in how good they are and what good and which matchups are good at. Actually, that changed a little bit recently. I always, uh, they're all both Korean uh, Korean Night Elves. They both stream. You know, they're, <laughs> they're just so similar in my mind. <laughs> Anyway, here's a fight here. There's a nice uh, cyclone on the blade master, but he gets back down. There's another cyclone. Uh, there's another cyclone. Do we see more dispels? I guess not. He should kill this factory. It's in the front. I don't like this factory placement too much, but uh, he ignores it for now. He goes, kills the beast master. Two critical strikes there. 240 and 264. And now he's going for the tinker. Uh, Tinker gets away though. The demon hunter is, has a lot of hit points. The tinker is still over here. He has a healing potion. We have a crap. Grab Demon Hunter GG and Sawin wins this game as I did not predict but as I told you guys he was def definitely able to win this game and that's why I chose to cast this game because it was the most close game in this quarterfinal. I know one of you guys was like are you sure this is the closest game in this quarterfinal? I was like yeah I'm pretty sure this is like the only the only uh, quarterfinal where I could see you know the favorite maybe losing.